phone with us? Adam, are you on the phone? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, we're going to call to order the meeting of the Stony Brook Community Development District. Uh, this is Tuesday, February 28th, 2023. The time is 6.02 p.m. And we'll let the record reflect that all supervisors are present at roll call of Supervisor uh, Dalton. Dal Dalton is participating by conference call. Okay. And with that, uh, we'll accept the motion to allow his continued participation by conference call. Make that motion. Noting exceptional circumstances. Mr. Brady, move that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Um, public comments. Do we have anybody who has anything? Just that one thing. I mean, how about we talked about the lights and uh, the, the parking lot of Dalton's. Last meeting, we're here, there's still nothing done about the lights. We're working on that. It's so dark, I mean, I mean, who's taking care of the companies or? We are. Right. Um, and the streets can be trimmed, there's lights missing, there's lights not even working. What our plan is, um, and we have Bentley Electric? Bentley Electric, yes. Okay, okay. We can't take the tree, we can't take the trees down because then we have to replant trees. So the trees are going to be trimmed and the lights are here and we're hoping to put lights lower so it brightens it, we're working on that because it's just got information on that. But yes, we are working on that. It takes a while to get all these workers out here these days, but we are working on it. Wait, what? By the way, there's a light there that's always on next to Duffy, and I went to adjust it today and it shocked me, so something's wrong. So I meant to be yeah, okay. sure or yeah, there might be a situation where you need an overall, you know, bring in Bentley and, and have them completely redo the entire thing. Yeah. Because it's funny if this should come up. Uh, I had Joe, uh, our insurance guy, come out and say, hey, would you look at the at the new outdoor area and tell me any thoughts you have about any liabilities we may have there? And he looked at it and said it was great and he didn't really see any issues. But he, one thing he did say to me in text was, what's going on with the lights? Duffy's Park a lot. So, I mean, that might be something we need to jump off quicker than not have Bentley come out right away and, and we might have to. It's okay. not going to be cheap. No, it's not. You're talking about that, at least $1,000 uh, a, a fixture. fixture. And there's 16 fixtures. Like right? poles, probably 30 fixtures. Yeah. Each head. And you want you want to go LED because it's just, it's just it's so much brighter better. And brighter. Cost effective. We did LED on the driver range and that looked really good. Yeah. So we got proposals. Okay. So we're working. It's just, you know, everybody's so wrapped up with everything. Adam, did you have something? Yeah, I did. I was just going to say, I was up there the other night looking at the finished patio and over a couple of hours break. Um, and it is dark. Uh, I have had a couple comments on that. And the one thing that I guess I would encourage, you know, Bentley Electric to also look at is not just downlighting, but possibly using uplighting on the trees that are currently there. It may be a more cost-effective way of doing it. Then you don't have to worry about, you know, trimming the trees as much. Just a thought. I thought I'd share. Look better too. Yeah, that would look nice too. That's a good idea. So Jeffrey, when or, um, Lisa, when you talk to Bentley, have them give us estimates on both. And maybe a mixture. Around there and just yeah. So maybe we can do both. But yeah, that's, thank you, Tom, but that is. And then I'm sure it's possible to have it brought back no later than the next board meeting because of the fact that, as Chuck was indicating, what, 20 weeks of lead time? Yeah, it's been, we've got some on order for the colony and Pelican Landing, and it's a 20 week lead time. That's all? Otherwise, and Ben is actually the one doing the work. So. Mm. Okay. All right. So, so the sooner yeah, yeah. it took a long time to get, that's why the ball machine took so long. They were so far in the weeds that. Yeah. Okay. So. Give everybody a flashlight when you leave the building. <laughs> <laughs> Try for something temporary, maybe, as much as we can. Okay. New goals. Okay. New goals. We need to work on that. And new yeah, shorts. Oh, it's going to start staying lighter later too, yeah. so that'll, Just gonna that'll be that'll be a little bit of the tree trimming will help a little bit, right? Tree trimming will help a little bit. Um, daylight savings time will help, and then by the next meeting we'll have um, bids that we can can go with. 
Okay. Daylight like savings time? Come on, March 12th. It's already here. Wow. Yeah, it's already here. Okay. No more public comments? Okay. Um, John? Okay. Um, <clears throat> speaking on lights, there's still a lot of down lights in the community. And they, but yet, FPNL has fixed some, but then I haven't seen them since. I know that's not really me, I think, but I just... Don't, don't hold your breath, John. Okay. Thank you. I thought maybe you guys didn't pay a bill or something. Like we, we talked with them right after they went down. They told they're in the bottom of the list. And they're still working out on that one, so it's going to be a while ago. Okay. That makes sense. No. Um, and we can't hire somebody to do it because of their yeah, lights. Yeah, they're they're Okay. Um, the, the current mulch that we used in the community that was voted on uh, back when, before I even took over in 2015, uh, they're no longer making it, per se. Like, everywhere I went to get extra bags for touch-ups and stuff, they're like, that stuff's so hard to get. Nobody uses it. So moving forward, we're going to be using um, a lightly darker color mulch, just a, like a cypress mulch. Um, but there's going to be some grievance, you know, because uh, last year we accidentally they didn't have that, so we used something else. And not accidentally, accidentally had to use something else. And oh, people were up in arms. It was up in arms. So, just for future work. Okay. Um, the mole on number four green, I think we finally take, taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, we got a little. The things that seems to be working is those little sonic things that we got. These little solar sonic. Believe it or not, um, we've smoked them out with these smoke bombs and stabbed at them and traps and uh, uh, worms like bait. And I think finally we got off. So. Okay, good. Um, we are very dry right now. I mean, it's we are in a drought, and we are actually going into dry season, our, our drier windy season. Um, it's too bad we couldn't save all that extra water from last fall. It, it's tough. I mean, we're doing a lot of new landscaping. We're running water left and right. I know people, I got flicked off several times yesterday um, when people were driving by with the water on in the center of me. And I understand. My husband they was have, we, have. we just replant it. We have. Yeah, there's, there's no, yeah. I haven't got the guys. We're trying to hand water as much as we can from the golf course heads off the road to try to, you know. I saw um, Rick doing that this morning. But yeah, I mean, it's not, people are not happy, but we got to do it. It's just something we have to do for, you know, a couple of weeks until it gets established and hopefully it gets some kind of rain. But I think they said this Saturday and Sunday when I get Not holding my breath. Okay. Um, but hope, hopefully. Uh, with that being said, yeah, we're doing a lot of landscaping right now. Um, we're going to be re-landscaping in front of the pro shop a little bit. We're going to take out those Asiatic jasmines and just put muley grass all the way up to the border. They're getting stepped on and smashed. They're slow growers. Um, they're not filling in as quickly. We, we even bought bigger ones after the initial planting to fill in between those to make it look more full. Um, that hasn't been working out either. And I don't want to keep running too much water up there on everything. Uh, it's just going to create more weed issues later on down the road. Um, so we're going to take those out, the Asiatic jasmines, and put muley grass up to the edge. Um, also, we are doing the center median. Um, we've added new palms. Um, it was great. They did got the lights going, but something happened when they installed that saw. They hit it with the machete. I've taken care of the new stuff, but now we have two trees, three trees at the very end that aren't working. I'm, I'm currently trying to fix that problem. Um, there's a nick or something somewhere. Um, and then right after that, I'll be installing the lights for the front meeting for the trees. Same thing, the upward up lighting, landscape lighting. I bought the uh, transformer pole. Uh, we have power out there, everything's good. I've been cleaning all that up today. I removed a lot of stuff, the uh, old LED lights and whatnot. I cleaned it up a little bit. So hopefully I'll have that in by the end of the week. I should. I should have tomorrow. I should have the main meeting taken care of, and then I'll be working on the uh, front meeting after that. Um, Juniper's now putting in the palms and the cul-de-sacs. So that's coming together. I know a lot of people were upset with about how they went and did it. And I, I can kind of see that. I mean, they kind of took everything out and left it there, and then came and got it all at once. Um, so it was kind of nice work for a couple weeks for some people. Um, but now that's all gone. And yeah, so they're moving along. Tomorrow they're going to start putting in some royals, and then from there they're going to move on with the understory plantings, and then after that the saw. Um, and John, when that's done, when they're 
almost finishing that, we have to get together with them again to do like the main road. Remember, we're doing all that stuff around the right. utility boxes. So, correct. Um, I, I'm waiting till they get this and the four-way. Once the they four-way, I think it'll be working, next after this. Once they start the four-way stop, then we'll start working. Yeah, we'll start working, working our way out, like we've talked about right. initially. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to be having a lot of saw here soon. So there's going to be a lot of saw trucks coming in. Um, you know, I think I need I need at least a truck for the back lawn. I need about five trucks for the areas between at the end of Sheridan and at the end of Burwich. Plus, since we're bringing in all this sod, we're going to do a lot of sodding ourselves, or, or not ourselves as far as, but um, that, that needs to be done yeah. um, at the intersections. Some of the intersections are real bad ones. We're going to take care of those, we'll prep them, but we're going to have a company come in and just lay it. They'll bring in their laborers and they'll, they'll lay it all. So there's going to be a lot of sod laying here coming up soon. Uh, and they're going to lay along the, um, the wall. Yes. 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 And then we're gonna eventually replant some uh Calusia, Calusia there yeah. along that along uh but the once Calusia the Calusia will never get as big as the No, it'll get but it'll get plenty big. It'll get plenty taller than right. the wall. I mean it'll get twenty feet. But it won't have mm -hmm. the base. It won't have the, the roots and the, 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 the yeah. Mm -hmm. Um it won't cascade as much either, it'll sprawl out, it'll be more up just a more upright okay. uh growth habit. Um so yeah, there's a lot going on right now. Uh, with that being said, but as we're doing this, we got to make sure the irrigation is correct before we go plant anything. So if it looks like something's not being planted in a timely manner, it might be an irrigation issue that we're working on, making sure the proper coverage is there. Because like I said, we're dry as it could be right now. Uh, we're running water, a lot of water. Um, you know, we pay for that water. Yeah, we so, do. And, you know, you just got to be conscious of everything and, uh, you know, do it the right way. I noticed the irrigation lake is a lot more full than it has been. Yes, so when we initially got the pump house put in, um, uh, Lee County Utilities has a, a flow monitor and a, and a monitor, lake level monitor, that they can remotely keep track of. And they had to take that out during that process. And when they did, they said, hey, this is antiquated. We're going to replace it with a more updated one when we come back when the time is right. Um, then the hurricane hit. And then, so it took them a while. Um, we weren't really needing water. Then we got low and, you know, we got in contact with somebody and they came out and gave us water for like a day and then it went back down and then I called them and said, hey, you know, we're really starting to run water. We've got this landscape right now. And then it, they've been giving us water since. So, yeah, I guess. But it's on, it's on, it's on meter. At their end, they have to come out and physically look at the lake. Um, luckily, I know how much water we're using every night, so I said, hey, we're using about a million and a half gallons of water between us and the, you know, community. Go ahead. And give us at least that amount. Mm -hmm. uh, to stay status quo. So, yeah, we're in a good spot with them. And that's all reclaimed water, by the way. And that's why the golf course is actually kind of greened up. You can kind of notice without fertilizer because it's all that reclaimed water with that it has you know more nitrogen in it than you know rainwater. Um, so yeah, and back to the back wall. Uh, that saw will be coming soon. We're going to do a comprehensive plan. We're going to do it all together. What juniper's not doing? Right. We're going to make sure the irrigation is right, and then we're going to put it in. And we're there. That stuff is ready, actually, that, that back wall. Bill, do you know when they're going to be repairing the back wall? Air park? Yeah. Uh, Bill talking to Parker about it. I thought I've already told them we'll take our app. But there's still something they're working out, so I don't know what they're doing. Okay. <coughs> Are you guys done to put the sod stuff up? Oh, no, no. Um, I think that might be what they're waiting for. If you guys get done, then they're going to do it. Okay. Well, we'll let you know. I'll uh, check with check and let you know. Okay, very good. Because right. I know residents have been complaining about the wall being open and why aren't we fixing it? Yeah. Yeah. So, and I'm, again, I've said the trees had to come out, the roots had to come out, the irrigation had to be fixed, the sod has to go in, then the wall. Yeah. So. Okay. As soon as we find them, let me know what they say. Hey, do you want to? Yes, sir. Uh, I've got a question. Has there been any, any further issues, I guess, on number seven since last month's report? Uh, yes, we've had some other issues. I was going to get to that. That's, uh, I got that in my notes to talk about here in a minute. Um, yes, there's actually had been, um, and not necessarily on seven, but there's been some more instance, uh, instances, yes. Okay. Or incidents, I should say. Um, so moving forward, uh, I'll get to that. Let's just go ahead and get into that, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we've been having some uh, vandalism on the golf course lately. Uh, it's getting 
It's getting actions are becoming bolder. They actually tried to start a fire in the bathroom on 15. Um, and I was speaking with Tammy, and she suggested that we file a, a police report that that was done. Yeah. So I, I think, think that's the same crew that's doing it on. Yeah, I mean, it's a. 11, 12. How many power was you living in one acre? You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So um, I think we should file a police report just to say that on this date, this has happened, this is yeah. what we did. And this is, we don't know who did it. Yeah. Um, but we've had some, like, taking the stakes out of the fairway in tan and sticking them in the green. Um, that happened last week. Uh, you know, cutting ropes, running through the ropes and breaking them, and cutting them, you know, just driving through them, stuff like that, throwing team markers in the ponds. Um, but it's, it's getting more and more. It's almost weekly, especially to, through the weekends. It definitely happens on the weekends. Sometimes kids like to brag about that kind of stuff to their so peers. Easy. So I put a bug in my son's ear to try to put some feelers out without being too obvious. Yeah. See what he can find out. So see what he comes back. Well, hopefully. Um, I had a resident send me an email this morning with some pictures that he had taken. Uh, he lives on 2T. Um, I guess yesterday around 4 o'clock, some kids were trying to drive. He could tell that they were thinking about riding onto the golf course, but there's golfers on the tee. And, and there's another, I guess, another set of group of kids with them on another golf cart. And he took some pictures the best he could. But I, and I gave them to Tammy to see if maybe she recognizes them. You right. can't get a number off of it. It's not very... It's, it's a red golf cart. It's a red golf cart, yeah. But that, I mean, that, all that was is that red golf cart on that tee at that time. I, as far as the ones doing the damage at night, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And I, I will say that I did put out an email blast um, saying that if this this is occurring after hours, so it is not coming. Any repairs are not coming out of the golf course budget. The repairs are coming out of the general fund, which all the residents pay on your tax bill. So. Um, you know, I, I can't hold the golf course responsible. It's not the golfers. It's residents, their families, or their guests. So the, all the residents are paying for whatever damage these few individuals are causing. And the residents, and I put it in the newspaper for this next issue coming up, that people need to be aware of it. So if you know anything, you need to let us know. Because it's, it's everybody's going to be paying for this. So, okay, I'm sorry. No. Um. Just to follow up, we don't really have a lot to do. Oh, sorry, Adam, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, if we've got like three or so kind of targeted areas, like there are cameras with thermal imaging that are not going to flash at night. You know, I don't know how great of a picture we're going to get, but uh, just in speaking with a couple of uh, security companies uh, the other day, it sounds like. Uh, 30 meters or 30 yards is about the range of those things for a good quality, clear picture without a flash. Well, John and I, John and I have talked, John and I have talked about that. So, and something we could move from hole to hole or area to area. Yeah, they're pretty cheap. I just sent into those. You get them on Amazon for like 300 bucks and tie them to a uh, cell phone line. And then you'll have self, you'll have backup into the cloud. So if they decide they want to destroy it, right? That's what I'm saying. You got it. You as soon as it takes the picture, it's yours. It sends you an alert. What about the power for that? Uh, the ones I was it's looking at were solar. Solar. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Thank so you. that. Thank you. So John, maybe we can look at that. <clears throat> okay. Oh, um. I passed out a, a quote from Drew Morrison, the company that did the back wall, the landscaping back there, uh, the removal of all the ficus. Um, and I also got one from Juniper, uh, but they haven't submitted it yet. Okay. Uh, but so Dorman, uh, this is in this quote is to remove all the ficus here, these smaller ficus along this back baseball wall, along between us and the school. Because so many of them are dead. And there, there's some there's some trees growing behind them, some jerome palms and. Uh, uh, some other things here and here, maybe another five, but it's like 465 trees. Uh, mm -hmm. And then to plant uh, inclusia down it, uh -huh. same thing, you know, let it grow up. Once right. again, it'll cover the school, it'll cover, you know, I didn't probably even get just as tall, if not a little bit taller than that, when we let them grow. Now, with those, do they have to be trimmed like these? No. Have to be trimmed? No. Just it's... let them, let them eat. Okay. Just trim the tops if you want that square little heads look at top, you know, just trim them and You could, them but up. you don't have to. You can, yeah. Okay. And that's something that, um, that's part of the common area, and I'd like to include that in 
Um, yeah. With that, and again, when I was originally working with Juniper, they said, you know, if there's an area that you have somebody else you want to do, that's fine. So um, that's why we just asked for this bid from Norman Mars. So when we get the other one from Juniper. Yeah, hopefully maybe next week or sometime. Okay. So, because I'd like to get that started as part of the common um, too. Dumpsters. Uh, we're having an issue now with dumpsters. Uh, so we have two uh, six-yard dumpsters down at our maintenance facility. Well, one's Jeff's, one's ours. Uh, Jeff brought his down there, I want to say maybe a couple years ago. Maybe it's been five or so years. Five years ago, that long? And, and the um, HOA uses that. And the, H the HOA, yes. Stuff in there. Um, and then there's a recycle bin that we have to have. Um, the issue was before that one of those dumpsters used to sit outside. Uh, and then what happened around like people started dropping off couches and dishwashers and just things of that nature, refrigerators and you know, um, and then at Christmas time it's I mean it's you know, just so much yeah, wrapped and paper, you know, whatnot. Uh, a lot of the old goes in the burbs too, the new news and then all you know, the gift. Um, so it gets bad. So we moved them inside. There's a sign stating clearly right there at the gate, you know, authorized personnel only. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, I understand the issue. Um, people are moving or they're leaving and, you know, trash is for a week. Um, but something has to be done. It's just not safe to have that kind of traffic. Then once again, I, I don't, I hate playing share. You know, I hate to, like, trying to tell somebody, I mean, I, I get your problem. I understand your issue, but, you know, I, if I let you do it, I gotta, you know, and that's like, you know, I feel like I'm sheriff of the dumpster. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that, you know, but what, what can we do? You know, I, I mean, the residents should have a dumpster to go to if they need it. The reason why ours is down there, because ours used to be next to Duffy's, which is really convenient for us. Right. You know, we can just dump our trash right there. But when Stoney's closed, that 18 months that the building was open, we had our dumpster there, and people would dump and trash would be everywhere. And one night, Andy DeSalvo just, I thought he was going to try to hit me. I'm like, look, man, I don't know. These people dump trash. I mean, my guy's throwing in there. Oh, 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 we're going to pick this up. And I'm like, we'll take care of it. So I just moved the dumpster back there yeah. with John so we wouldn't have that mess up there anymore. I mean, Duffy still keeps their dumpster. I would like to move my dumpster back, but it's open like anybody can come in there and dump stuff. You come in after hours. You come in before we get there. In the middle of the night, you can just dump all kinds of stuff in there. And they were doing it. People find out whether there's an open dumpster, they're going to use it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm wondering, is there somewhere we could put a dumpster for public use? Somewhere? Yeah. Huge Maybe mistake. Somewhere here. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Is there somewhere where it's not, it's not going to Huge mistake. No, let's not go down that road. No, okay. That that thing will be surrounded by crap yeah. and yeah. so full raccoons and because yeah. everybody will just dump yeah. everything. You're yeah. right. No, they do. I mean, it's, and you, you know what's it's, discouraging it's, is that our garbage guys will pick up anything. Right. So just set it out. They'll pick up anything. So I don't get what the deal is. Although I will. Well, we've tell been you, there before. It yeah. wasn't our dumpster. It was master okay, Right. Dumpster. You had the dumpster back there. That, it uh, was a good way for the habit. Yeah, you know, you sit up where people go to drag refrigerator stuff there. It's just easy to drag it out the curb and they'll pick it up once they Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That that looked horrible. And if you've ever watched them unload that dumpster, the mess I have to clean up every time they come and dump. It's like, they don't, thanks, man. Right, they won't touch any of stuff in the ground. Cool. Actually, weren't there sometimes they wouldn't even do anything because they couldn't get to the actual dumpster because yeah. it was surrounded by so much yeah. junk. Yeah, on the ground. Yeah. So I, I, I just think it's a... It's funny you mentioned that because uh, that company, he was telling me a story, Dorman and Morse, that during a hurricane, he was paid $10,000 to move debris out of the way so that they could get to the trash can. That's how much debris they stacked up in front of the trash. Wow. Yeah. No, it's just crazy. And actually, I will tell you that I was driving along the main road the other day, and some guy pulled his car over, took a bag of garbage out of the trunk of his car, and put it in one of the, in the garbage vessels on the side of the road. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, okay. Something we're going to have to live with, John. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 
clock place, uh, real quick, clock placement, uh, Mancini's Palm. Mm -hmm. What about in that one little island that has the palm where you can go left or right, you know, it's right there? What if we took that palm out and set, set the nice clock right there? Well, me, I, I, I'm talking with Jack about a different kind of clock. A little bit more elegant. You yeah, know, sort of Verdine right. clocks out of Ohio, they make beautiful clocks. He's got to figure out how, what do you get by irrigation? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got to figure out with Jack what we want to do. Okay, but I'd rather be more central and a little yeah, bit, not on that hill. Yeah. I, I, I really don't want, want it back on the hill. He, he wants you to take it out. I told him we're going to move it and keep it. We're not going to start to break it. Right. Keep it if he wants to do something with it, but we're going to move it for now. And last but not least, um, this is for uh, Chuck. I noticed in the Common Grounds budget um, that my there's a lease in there, but that's for the blowers. There's not a cart lease that I should have in there hitting hitting the budget. And it was usually um, uh, it was usually coming out of the capital outlay mowers carts section. I mean we could talk about this later but we'll get the financials but do you have utility carts for sixty seven eighty? Nothing's been booked to it so far. So. Right. Why is the we have that it's a because you guys get the T, the bill from T uh, TCF. Is that been paid. No. That, that I haven't gotten that. Two years, right? I haven't got. Well, it's a four-year uh, operational lease, so I would have gotten new equipment. Yeah. Good question. But no, I haven't got. I haven't gotten a notice from Tor or from T uh, TCF. But what I did do today is I called, contacted TCF, and said, "Can you please give me um, or email me uh, every a document for every operating lease we currently have, operating and capital, because I wanted to make sure I knew exactly which one it was. I couldn't find it um, in, in the current lease packages I had in my in my file. So I did that. Um, I contacted them, but they hadn't got back to me obviously by the time. So when I get that information, I'll send you shoot you an email or shoot Lucy an email and say, Lucy. hey, yeah, shoot to Lucy. But I just noticed that in there. That's really all I got for now. Okay, I have um, one thing. Yeah. Um, I do too. Uh -oh. They're clean. It's not that bad. Get my pen. Um, they're cleaning out between 11 and 12. I did. Thank you for. I forgot to talk about that. Thank you so You're much. You're quite welcome. Yes, they are cleaning in between out in between 11 and 12. Uh, and there's a thousand golf balls in there. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> yes, it does. The trunk is It looks gone. really good. It really does. Um, Maybe down the road in the near future, maybe next year's budget, uh, we'll talk about it in a couple months. Maybe when I started here, that used to get pine straw, but it's like almost 20 grand of pine straw. That's that'd, 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 that'd be a lot. That'd be a lot of pine straw. A truck. It, easy. I, I could, no, a truck's only five grand. It's like five trucks, five or six trucks. Um, that's a, to me, that's like luxury where I can use that money that somewhere. Makes sense. But it's just, Let's clean it up and see how it looks. It's looking really nice. It's really opened up the view and just everything. It's really nice. Um, so yeah, thanks for, thanks for reminding me about that. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. No problem. Yeah, I just wanted to follow up with some of this irrigation stuff that we've been dealing with. And it sounds like, because I know I brought it up last meeting, but it sounds like everything's been taken care of. There were, there were five residents. Yeah. Um, and. Yeah, we got so, a plan together. We executed the last reading. Everything went well. Um, so, Chuck, should these people or do? I mean, I never got a report on every one of them. But are they going to get a refund credits? What's? Do we know? Or there? I, I haven't heard back on what they're said and how they're going to. How they're going to manage that? Yeah. Yeah, um, those, those that are over red will end up with a credit on account unless they call and want the actual physical check sent to them. Okay. Because so. I just wondered on some of them because it's not just, some of them weren't really, I don't even know if you designated it as an overreading. The, the numbers weren't, they were it's just between the customer whacked out and numbers. And whatever their preference is, we'll, we, yeah. we're easy, we work with them. So. Okay. Yeah. But for the board, um, just so that you know the plan we came up with, um, Tyson is now working with Crosby. The, um, the last Monday of every month, they will start to read. They'll have, last month they had it done in what, three days? The whole community. Um, they're gonna do it tomorrow. They'll have it, and so it, it'll be read the, the last Monday of the month. They weren't read yesterday because Crosby was still on vacation. 
Um, billing will get them the first Monday of the following month. Within five days, they'll send back for rereads. Everything should be to them in time. The problem was in the past, they wanted everything done by the third of the month. So if the first fell on a Friday and the third was on a Sunday, they didn't have time to do it all in one day. So we're, we're going to do the last Monday of every month. They'll get it the first Monday of the following month, and then the billing will go out in the middle of the month. So that's what we're working on. Um, Tyson's working with Crosby to do that. Um, we're hoping in the next couple months they can each do their own streets, get it done in a day, day and a half, and, and speed it up that way. Um, but that seemed to work out really well last month. Yeah. And Although we still might have some email spam. There, yeah, for some reason. Um, Lost in the interweb. Yeah, so. it's out there. So, but we are working on it. That's the plan, and it worked really well. And this way, if Crosby gets tied up with something else, Tyson knows what he's doing. So we've got a backup there, which is what we did not have before. So, um, so that should alleviate the, the issues down the road. Okay. You done? Um, so, else? I mean, that's there's just been a lot of traffic, yeah. email traffic, and most. I just wanted to make sure the irrigation. I responded to all of them that because based on the report I got back from Crosby, everything has been taken care of, and people will be, It'll be know, adjusted, accordingly. adjusted accordingly. But I just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page, and that's what is actually going to happen. Yes. Um, there were a ton of emails about this your blast, so there was all kinds of responses in here on that. Uh, um, golf course vandalism oh, and yeah. all that, so. There's a lot of stuff in here. But I responded to all of them, so. Okay, thank you. Jeff? Well, uh, February has been tremendous. Uh, you know, John's pain of no rain is like uh, <laughs> good for me. Um, we, uh, we're looking at probably finishing ahead of budget by somewhere between 25 and 30,000. Um, we, uh, we're gonna be over last year by somewhere close to that or more. Uh, if you, I brought you a, a little flow chart that Tony made. I don't know if you guys have ever met Tony. Tony works for me. He uh, used to be a, a Navy pilot. He was a, Major in the in the Navy, and he, he flew uh, submarine interceptor. Anyway, he's very very smart with math, and uh, I we've been he helped me a lot with getting the range machine set up. And once we got it set up, he he made this, and he's been tracking all month. And if you look at year to date, uh, from from February of last year to this year, and this was as of yesterday. We were at 34,000 as compared to 26 the year before. So we are seeing a little bit of that after hours. Like we did $150 after uh, five o'clock last night. As the daylight continues to grow and we get, we're gonna do more and more. Uh, the patio and Duffy's is gonna add to that. People are gonna see they can come do it. Um, we put LED lights, we replaced the parking lot lights that we had for over a decade with new LED lights that are brighter. The fountains are in the lake. We got one that's got a little bit of a problem, but they're fixing it, hopefully to be fixed by Friday. So you can see the ball go out. You can see they hit it. <laughs> you can kind of see it go out, but I mean, it's, but it's, there's no other real lit options per se out there. And I think we want to see some, you know, I'm not gonna say we're gonna make hundreds of thousands of dollars extra, but we can make 50 to 75, mm -hmm. which doesn't hurt. No, 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 that's great. Uh, Golf-wise, uh, every tee time, every day, we're seven days out or more advanced booked. Um, you know, next year, we're gonna have to look, and I think I brought this up last, last time we've had groups that have been loyal to us for over a decade. We're gonna have to look at changing the pricing a little bit, maybe reduce some of the sizing. Um, you know, I would never want a resident not to be able to get out, but there are a large amount of tea times. And if you don't get a tea time before seven days, you're probably not getting out. Which, you know, 
is what it is a problem to have, I guess. And if we um, if we cut back the numbers in the groups and open up the tea times, we'd actually make more money. Potentially. I mean, you know, you know, before it was a security blanket, and now it's the possibility of opening up to more cash flow. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll explore all those options going forward okay. in the next season. Um, Jeff, before you go any further, yes, um, with the uh, range balls, I know the guys are picking them every day. It's getting more use out there. Do we need to get more range balls? I got more. Oh, you did? Okay. I got more. Okay. Um, Jeff, can you clarify what did, and maybe I misunderstood, but what do you mean by residents, or didn't you say residents when you were talking about groups, or? No, well, there's group, in the groups, there's residents in the groups, but. I, I, don't want a, I don't want a resident not to get out, you know, not to be able to get out at right. They want to play at nine o'clock somewhere. Because, because of the group. Because of the group. Because of the size. Oh, okay, okay. I, yeah. that's that's I, I just I just wanted to make sure because I think but I don't want the group to get so out of hand that we wind up, you know, because we book out the groups early, we put them in our T sheet. So, you know, we want times around that available for residents and then seven days to general public. Oh, okay, I mean, good. Talk to me how many employees in the group. Uh, the biggest group we have uh, probably would be the Wednesday Men's League. They average about 56. The ladies have about the same. So Wednesday morning basically is those two. So they're like 735. Yeah. Yeah, 745 to 937, they take up that spot. And that's fine, but you know. Well, more importantly, the amount of revenue that that would produce if we were to do the leagues during those times in PC. Yeah, I mean, we could, you know, we can increase the price of other, other groups and leagues. No, we haven't done that for. We did, we did $5 this year. We did. Okay. We can go $10 next year. I mean, there's no, you know, 